Malakadel, we're ready for you. I was wondering if you could give me any information. Hello? Is anyone there? Hey, you scared me! It was awful, Mom! The man was insufferable! Well, I don't think he cared for me either. The interview took like five minutes tops. What? I, I think we're breaking up. Mom, you there? Hello, Marlo.
Hello? Is anybody there? I know someone's there. Come out. Hello, Marlo. Who are you? You should probably sit down. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, Marlo. Of course I do. What's happening to me? Are you behind this whole thing? Why? Calm down, Marlo. You've been through a lot in these past couple hours. Would you like something to drink? All right. So who are you and why are you stalking me? <laughs> I wouldn't really call it stalking. Milo, the events of these past 12 hours have been heavily orchestrated to play with your emotions. From the moment you picked up that paper and made that phone call, you've been under extreme surveillance. <laughs> Why? Well, great question, Milo. You've been part of an experiment. From the second you made that call, your every action and reaction have been recorded. So you're telling me I've been a lab rat for the past 12 hours? Well, lab rat is a bit harsh. But you've been very helpful to me. <laughs> Milo, I know what you want, and I can give it to you. Watching you for so long has revealed some interesting things about you. I know your greatest fears and your biggest weaknesses, and I'm willing to make an offer that I'm pretty sure you can't pass. I don't want anything from you. What about a job? You'd be paid well. And most importantly, you'd finally have a tiny bit of success in your life. It's your choice, Marlo, but it would be unfair of me not to mention the connections I have with the city. Let's just say I can make sure this is the first and last job you're ever offered here. Haven't you already done enough damage?